there should be chairs for everyone here. We have um, some chairs stacked up in case there aren't chairs for everyone, but there's definitely chairs available at these tables. So please grab some pizza, grab something to drink, and come sit down. So my name is Nicole Chaland. I'm the director of the Community Economic Development Program at Simon Fraser University. And uh, I'm really delighted to welcome you here this evening. Uh, we want to start by recognizing and acknowledging um, that we are on the traditional and unceded territories of the Squamish, Musqueam, and Tsleil-Waututh. And to do that, I would like to introduce you to my colleague and friend and mentor, Chief Leanne Joe. Chief Leanne Joe is a hereditary <laughs> chief of Squamish. Thank you, Nicole. To start this evening, um, I'm going to do um, a little bit of a more traditional welcome um, from who I am as an Indigenous uh, woman, leader, mother, community member. Uh, before I do that, though, I just want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Welcome to the Rojava Revolution and Groundswell Market. Um, I think this is going to be a fantastic kickoff to our uh, Hopeful Economics Summit uh, tomorrow, which I'm super stoked about, because um, I think we can actually possibly take some giant leaps forward in uh, changing our economies, and in particular, uh, for our future generations that are, that are coming um, up uh, in the next little while. Welcome, uh, John and Levan, this evening and presenting to us, uh, sharing their knowledge, their wisdom, and their greatness and uh, their visions. And um, so this is the way we, if I was to be in my community and, and do a welcome, I would introduce myself. My traditional name is Shapay Lamont Siam. Uh, Shapay Lamont is the name that I carry, my traditional name in, in my family. I'm the only one that actually carries that name in my family. Because it is synonymous with the actual title that goes with it, which is Siam, which means chief. We don't carry our titles before our names, we carry them after. Because what's most important is our lineage and our families and where we come from. Um, and the relatives that we represent, and those families that we represent, the land that we, that we represent, and the responsibilities that come with that. I share that name with my late father, Shubhelan Siam, um, also known as uh, the late Chief Philip Joe. He is one of uh, 16 hereditary chiefs of uh, the beautiful uh, Scopish territory, um, North Vancouver, our neighboring communities are the Tsiola uh, nation that go into the Burr Inland. And uh, our other family relatives are the Musqueam people um, heading towards out uh, towards UBC. You are the unceded territories of the Swartwish people and the Musqueam people and the Tsiola people. We resided here for time immemorial. We used these lands for hunting, gathering. Um, we lived here and practiced all of our culture, traditions, and ways of being on this land. And that tells you a lot about who we are. It doesn't tell you about our way of being, but it tells you a lot about who we are and, and, and the true history that comes with that. I am the first female hereditary chief of my family. Uh, traditionally on my dad's side of the family, it was passed down to, to the men. Uh, but my uncle knew, my great uncle knew that once my uh, dad took on this, that this title would more than likely go to me, um, which was precedent setting uh, for my great uncle and my family. I'm also a descendant of uh, the Tsiolotooth Nation on my dad's mother's side. She is a Thomas, so I have very close relations uh, to the Burrard community and the Burrard families. 
I am also a descendant of the Kwakwakiwak speaking people on the East Coast shores of Vancouver Island. Uh, my grandmother and my grandfather on my mother's side were born, born and raised um, between Courtney Comox Campbell River and we had extended family from Victoria all the way up uh, Northern Island. So this, the reason I share this with you is not only to share, most importantly to share the lineage, but you understand the diversity of who I am, the language that I speak, the land that I reside on, and my accountability and responsibility um, for all of those families, all of that land, all of the resources, and what we do with it. And this is why I'm so passionate about the work that uh, SFU is doing in bringing and recognizing that we're in the unceded territories of our community. I'm also uh, a recent graduate of the uh, SFU CDD program. Um, that I graduated in 2016. And uh, it really shifted um, my being in this world. I, I always had my indigenous lens, my traditions, understanding of where I came from. But through the program, it allowed me to see how can I bring that even further beyond um, just my knowing, but for the rest of the candidate to understand and respect that as well. I never understood that. My father always talked about tripartite government in, in, in his time, because that was taught to him by his ancestors. And I really get now um, not the importance of it, not on just a political scale, but at every, every level um, in which we be on these lands in this great country that we call Canada. And First Nations people have a key role, a very integral role, and we can achieve that together through relationship and reconciliation. I will close with, um, the beauty of tonight and what um, is going to be shared um, through this wisdom and experiences and storytelling. There's commonalities and that's, um, I see that greatly and that's very similar to what First Nations wants and that's self-governance, self-determination, self-reliance, autonomy. We want to be on an equal playing field with every other person um, in this country, right? not be as second class or third class citizens of this country. And again, that goes hand in hand with the teachings that uh, my great parents have embedded in me. And I hope that my passion through what I speak will resonate with you and also resonate with the sharings of the stories that you're gonna be hearing tonight. And see that we're not so different that around the world, these are the exact same things that the people of this country want to hear as well. So I close with that. Thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to some great storytelling coming up soon. Also,